personally, each and every one of us need to allow our entire lives to become a Christ walk. Everything is spiritual. In our lives, a lot of times we will separate. This is spiritual, this is not. When I go to church, that's my spiritual thing. I put my church hat on, and all day long on Sunday, I'm doing my, this is my spiritual area of my life. But then I got a job, and I work in a warehouse or whatever. This is not spiritual. I, I'm at a, you know, a station or whatever doing my job. This is not a spiritual part of my life. God wants every single part of our life to be a spiritual thing. If I am at work, that is a spiritual experience, and I'm there for a very real reason. Even if I'm just there putting tags on toys or whatever it might be, the environment that I'm in, I can impact that environment for Christ in, in subtle ways, not to where every person we talk to we have an agenda, but that we live Christ-like. If, if, if Christ is not impacting us as individuals, how can we share that with the world around us? Everything needs to be spiritual. <clears throat> And so that brings us to a point of talking about uh, one of the main things that we push here forward is that we do not pass a basket, right? And we do that for a very real reason, <laughs> because we, did, we came strictly to serve as Jesus did, came here to serve, 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 right? But in saying that, there is a blessing to giving of your life, and God blesses when we give of our life. And I'm not talking about money. This isn't the hey, fill up the pots, put 100 in the plate, and you'll receive 200 back from the Lord, or any of those flaky little phony things you might have heard pastors say in the past. This is not that sermon. I'm talking about tithing your entire life. If God gives me a car, that car came from God, whether I know it or not, and I'm tithing that car. When my neighbor's car breaks down and she needs a ride to work, tithe that car. If God gave me a house to live in, and I'm safe, and I got heat, and da-da-da-da, and someone is sent into my story of my life that needs a place to stay, and, and God's calling me to do that for that individual, tithe your house. Everything that God gives us, we need to give back to him so that the people around us will see us live in a radically different way. If we are not salt and light in our community, we're not no different than anybody else. I see cats every day who come to church and do the whole dance, you know what I'm saying? And then I will see them in an environment with people who do not know Christ and there is no difference. You will not know the difference. They're one of the guys. You know what I'm saying? We need to be salt and light in our community because we did not come here just to play church. We came to radically transform the neighborhood.